Hello everyone, today we are going to integrate this expression with respect to x using this substitution x is equals to half sine theta to help us. Now don't get too overwhelmed over here. The idea is to convert all the x that you see into theta so that we can simplify and integrate the expression easily. Now to get dx in terms of theta, all we need to first do is to differentiate this expression with respect to theta. And this will give us half cosine theta. This implies that dx is equals to half cosine theta d theta. Now with this information over here, we can then convert all the x that you see here to theta. Now let's rewrite the original expression to give us integrate square root 1 minus 4 half sine theta squared multiplied by half cosine theta d theta. Now you notice that in this expression, all the x's has been transformed into a theta. Let's continue on to simplify this expression. We will then have 1 minus sine square theta in the square root multiplied by half cosine theta d theta. And this will give us half integrate cosine squared theta d theta. I've basically changed 1 minus sine square theta into cosine square theta and the square root of cosine square theta is cosine theta. Multiplying that to cosine theta, we will then have cosine square theta. Now to integrate even powers of cosine, always involve the cosine double angle formula, which is given over here. Now we make use of the cosine double angle formula because we need to get an expression for cosine square theta which is cosine 2 theta plus 1 over 2. So this takes the place of cosine squared theta that you see over here. Now very quickly extract the 2 from the denominator and we will then be able to integrate this easily to give us sine 2 theta over 2 plus theta. And don't forget to put the arbitrary constant c because this is an indefinite integral. Now many students make the common mistake of leaving the answer like this, which is not correct because we will need to convert all the theta back in terms of x. But we do face an issue because this is 2 theta over here, while the original substitution expression is only in terms of theta. Now we overcome this by using the sine double angle formula to give us 2 sine theta cosine theta. Now to get x, all we need to do is to manipulate the original substitution expression. So sine theta is now 2x. But how about cosine theta? This is where we draw a right angled triangle to help us. Now sine theta is opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 2x over 1. So using the Pythagoras theorem, the adjacent will then be square root 1 squared minus 2x whole thing squared, which is 4x squared. Thus, cosine theta is square root 1 minus 4x squared over 1. Now substituting back to the expression here, we will then have this statement, which is the final answer when we integrate this with respect to x. Now I do hope you have learned something from this video. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them down in the comments box below. And thank you so much for watching.